an opportunity for the Buffalo Bills disappears in the time it takes Sean Smith to run 101 yards. Gets this one just a yard into the end zone, so Marquise Lee will take it out with a head of steam. Marquise Lee has room down the sideline. Marquise Lee at the 20. Lee will... He'd like to sting his former team. Dwayne Harris, the former Cowboy. No flags! To do after the last play fiasco at home on Monday night. Well, the first play, it's a fiasco, but from the Bengals' point of view, Derek Mason, one yard deep in the end zone. Neil Racker's not going to get him. No one's going to get him. So one play, they have a 7-0 lead. Tennis Horn. Out of his end zone. Gets him uh -oh. from outside. Tony Horn had a 97-yard return last week, and this time he's going to have one for even more. Tony Horn, 100. Janikowski booting it away from the 30-yard line and waiting for to Stevens Howling on the goal line. Runs right to the 10, to the 15, to the 20. Breaks a tackle, 25, 30. 35, kicker to be 40. Stevens Howling near side, 50. At the 40, at the 30, at the 20. Somebody open the front door. Stevens Howling's coming in. Touchdown. For the right call on the field, and now Weems on the return. Has some room. Has some blocking, and there he goes. The Pro Bowl returner. Eric Weems, touchdown. Nope. And deadlocked with the Bears as the second half is underway. And this is Johnny Knox with a kicker to beat. And Knox is long. Kicks to Brandon Tate for four yards deep. And Tate got a very nice block at the point. And he gives him room to get the sideline. And Tate, who took one back against Cincinnati to open the second half, has a 103-yard kickoff return to start the half. A touchdown. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Coach Steve Mariucci, buddy. Mike Tomlin's team down 3-0 in the first quarter. But stop me if you've heard this before. Allen Rawson returns a kickoff for a touchdown. This guy could fly. I trained with this guy all throughout the summer. He came over to work out the kids in the camp I had in, in Dallas. And this. Patterson will bring it out. Full head of steam. He's gone. Patterson. What a start to the half. Touchdown, Minnesota. Hillman cuts it inside, gets in the end zone, but the ball came out. Did he cross the plane of the goal line? No, he didn't as the Seahawks. Have recovered, and there's your guy again, Brandon Browder. Another big play, no flags. Here's the kick fielded five yards in, and this is Lavelle Hawkins. And he's out past the 40, and he's out in front of everybody, and all the way he goes for 105 yards. But a flag is there. Field drive it for a touchdown the opening two weeks and here's Lockett the rookie from Kansas State down the sidelines and unstoppable <laughs> we gotta return yeah. <laughs> hey mark the time and it's a long return Baldwin Doug Baldwin and this could go he's being chased one more and Seattle 
corner ball that is. And this could be a run back from nine deep for Jacoby Jones. And look at him go. Jones is past the 50. And he is flying. Inside the play. And a kick up. Has it intercepted. And that's Malcolm Jenkins. On his feet to the 20. The 25. Crossing midfield. Malcolm Jenkins will go the distance for him. And that's going to be run back out of the end zone by Bayer, who fumbled the punt and huh. seeks atonement. Oh, I guess so. Does he ever get that atonement? No flags. Touchdown. And from eight yards back, Cobb is going to bring it back. And the rookie breaking tackles on his way into Saints territory. And the second round draft. Once again. Kansas City, Niall Davis is going to try to bring it out, and he does. Davis over the 20, the 20 by the 30. Now the foot race is on. Davis down the sidelines. Niall Davis is going to go the distance here. 20, 10, touchdown. He did that. Inspiration again. shows less than scintillating performance the last two weeks. Joe McKnight trying to change that. Yeah. There goes McKnight down the sideline. Chased by Devere Posey. McKnight at the 20. McKnight at the 10. McKnight is in. Here comes the pressure all over, and the pass is intercepted. Chris Houston. He'll go all the way. And a touchdown. The second defensive touchdown of the game for the Lions. And Hobbs, well, look at him, he's going to run it out from eight yards deep. Jets in full pursuit, and Hobbs able to get past the wave. Hobbs taken off. He's at midfield, inside the 20, and he's running it back 108 yards. Talking about it really this entire trip so far. As Hobbs going to get some good room. Look out. One man to beat. Well, he goes by the kicker, and he's going to go. Touchdown, Jones! And will run it out to the 15, to the 20, to the 30, with a blocker! He's to midfield! Down to the 30, down to the 20, he will go all the way! By the Lions, this is Ray Nod from way back. He's got a lane up, huge block, and he could go! He will go! Pulls up, but it doesn't matter, no flags! Won't get the touchback this time. McCourty's going to bring it out. And McCourty's got a lane. He's passed forward. And McCourty's off racing. McCourty inside the 30. He's going to match the Jets' touchdown with the 104. On the road at the Lions, Drew Bledsoe struggled in this game. Did you see the interception? <laughs> well, Bryant Westbrook. It's easy to say it after a 100 yard return for a touchdown on an interception. 100, 100, 101 yeah, yards. Andy. 101 yards. The silver Dome, man. Eh? That's, 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 that's the old that's silver dome. dome. Teddy Bruschi is going to come over and, and be a good teammate, unlike. To the end zone. Intercepted! Picked off by Justin Reed, the rookie, up the sideline, and he is going to go! Seven yards in, and Joe McKnight's going to run it back. And McKnight with a ton of speed. McKnight into Ravens territory. He chased from behind, inside the 20, inside the toes. And the end zone is intercepted by Ed Reed. He gets away from Cobb, and he is still going down the sideline. Brett Selleck trying to cut him off. Reed needs one more block. He goes